hey lovelies welcome back to my channel so guys in today's video we're making this bubble braid yeah isn't it nice so guys in case you just seen this channel for the first time this is cinder wax so without wasting much time let's get into the video so first thing we're going to be needing is our darling expression so i actually made use of two but i just showed you guys one here so what i'm basically going to do to this is to cut this like how it is now just cut it into two and then begin by stretching the mouth just the way i'm doing now so when i'm done stretching the mouth so finally this is how it's looking this is how it's looking so i'm going to be get using one each for the braids for the bubbles i mean so guys i went off to do this one so i'm going to be showing you guys how i basically did this braids so yeah first thing we're going to be doing is to get our boss congro ready i hope i got that and yeah i'll be making use of my hair wax just to lay down the hairs flat she has this kind of hair that has what they call it ingrown hair like that so i kind of uh, use the wax to make sure that all the hairs are all in place so i wanted to do a an invisible braid on her but she has a very is it slimy or slippery hair that when you hold it will just be going off from your hand so i decided to do it this way so i braided it normal braiding and then took out a little portion and then tied it from the roots this is to make it a bit firm so it doesn't just go off like that you know considering the fact that she has a very short hair and then a, a very um slippery hair also so that was why i did it like this so when i'm done that with that i began doing my bubbles like this and yeah when making your bubbles this is your bubbles make sure they are all the same size and yeah if you are going with six let your six be six throughout and then if you're going with ten let it be ten throughout so i'm going i'm actually going with ten and um, six sorry I'm actually going with six so this is basically what i did to it i you tie it and then knot it i decided to knot my but you can just tie it and then take the the little portion move the little portion forward and then begin tying but i think this is the best for me to do this is what i continued doing until i got to the end of it yeah yeah in case you're just seeing this channel for the first time this is in the works thank you for stopping on this channel and yet yeah, my returning subscribers i thank you guys very very much i cannot just do without you guys and if you are if you are here to subscribe to my channel pico please kindly hit the subscribe button and yeah always make sure you leave a comment on the comment box or on the comment section and i will be with you guys there so i continued like this and then at the last part i just tied it and then used my scissors to cut the remaining and yeah remember i told you she has this ingrown hair so it was kind of a bit difficult for me to get a proper lines a smooth and sharp line that was why i'm using needles for this so the same thing i did in the other other braids i'm going to be repeating it here just to properly show you guys so guys another thing you should consider when making this hair is the size of your client's hair if it's a kind of a scanty one always make it to be a little more full but not too much you wouldn't want it to look so much on your client that it will be so much like obvious and not really looking nice always consider that and how he or she wants it you know there's some that really do not want like a very 
bulky and full hair like that so guys my client kind of likes it big and all that so that's why i'm it's kind of a bit big but not much so you should always put that into consideration and yeah do not forget forgot to tell you guys i spread some origin on the hair just to ease out the freeze on it and then uh, make sure you hide your hair like natural the person's natural hair make sure you hide them in in the kinky so it doesn't show though my client has a very short hair, so there was no need of hiding but once i could hide i hid them but if you are doing this on a very long hair always make sure you hide the hair so it doesn't show yeah that is it for guys do keep watching this video and do not skip any part of this video guys we've gotten to the end of this hair and yeah now we're going to be laying the edges and i used the wax that i used earlier on her hair yeah that is basically for that is basically all can you just see the way she's looking <laughs> she's actually seeing herself in the mirror and when i was like do you like the hair she said yes <laughs> yeah guys that is all i hope you guys do enjoy this video kindly hit the subscribe button if you're yet to subscribe to my channel and yeah remember turn on your notification bell so you always go to find whenever I, oh, I post new videos and of course please leave a comment down below do let me know what you feel about this hair and i'll be with you guys in the comment section yeah i'm so loving this hair i think i'm going to be making this hair on my head too and until then guys see you bye